So good afternoon again. This crime report covers the period of 1st of January to 30th of June 2013. And while I certainly would not want to tell journalists how to do your job, I might suggest uh, that the headline could read, Crime Continues to Fall in Bermuda. The subheading might read, The second quarter of 2013 records the lowest crime rate since the year 2000. Total crime for the second quarter this year stands at 834 offenses, and this is the fourth quarter in a row where total crime is less than 1,000. Compared with the first six months of 2012, the same period this year has recorded 415 fewer offenses, or a reduction of 19%. Despite this encouraging trend, the period has sadly not been without its tragedies. Five fatal road traffic collisions occurred in the first quarter, although none occurred in the second quarter. Three murders have been recorded this year, two in January that were caused by fatal shootings and are believed to be gang related, and one in June that was not firearms related and is not believed to be linked to gang activity. But there is good news to be found in the reports. The second quarter reported one injury shooting only. And while one shooting is still one shooting too many, compared to what we've been through, the second quarter of 2013 represents the lowest rate of gang violence in Bermuda in the last four years. Nine firearms have been seized by the police or turned in by the public so far this year. They are comprised of five conventional handguns, two air pistols or BB guns, and two imitation firearms. As a result of forensic examinations, one firearm has been linked to seven separate gun crimes, and another firearm has been linked to two different firearms offenses. These weapons now open up potential lines of inquiry that weren't there previously, and we hope that they will lead to the progression of some of our open cases to the point where charges can be laid against culprits who are still at large. Elsewhere in the report, in the first two quarters, or six-month comparison between 2012 and 2013, antisocial behavior offenses fell from 288 to 211, or 27 percent. Robbery fell from 34 to 19, or 44 percent. Vehicle thefts fell from 360 to 307, or 15 percent. Total burglaries, residential, commercial, and tourist accommodation, are down from 520 to 309, which represents a reduction of 40%. Drug seizures total 138 for the year. They are comprised of 39 seizures by customs at the ports of entry, 89 street seizures, and 11 interdictions outside of Bermuda. The total value of drug seizures so far this year is $1.86 million. This represents a decrease from the same period last year of $5.13 million. Drug enforcement activity has declined over the last four quarters from an average of 175 offenses per quarter to 75 offenses per quarter. This decline appears to, to coincide with a decline in stop and searches over the same four quarter period from about 2,300 per quarter to just over 1,100 per quarter or about 52% fewer stops. Finally, under the provisions of the Proceeds of Crime Act, a total of $232,000 has been seized to date, either uh, seized, confiscated, or forfeited and this compares with $520,000 during the same period last year. There is good news in this crime report, and the news should be encouraging to all Bermudians and all residents. It doesn't, however, signal that the problems have been solved or that the police will let up, but it is a positive trend that is well worth acknowledging. Policing is a community responsibility, and this report should provide reinforcement to those involved in the community effort to continue doing their part in tackling gangs, guns, drugs, and violence, and making Bermuda a safer place as a result. For our part, the BPS intends to help Bermuda feel safer as well, and we will continue to target those offenders 
posing the greatest risk to our community and bringing them to justice. Uh, Commissioner, is it, is it safe to assume that this plunge in criminal activity has a lot to do with some of the brigands already in custody? I'm sorry, some of the brigands or culprits, as you call them. Well, it's never safe to assume anything. Let me let me put that qualifier right there. I think what can be said generally about the decrease in crime, and particularly about the decrease in gang crime, is that crime itself is a, is a social issue, and the solutions are social. So it would be very difficult, actually it would be very easy to stand here and say, it's all the police, we did it by ourselves. And that's just simply not true. It's a combination of things. But certainly we predicted years ago that the road or the path that certain people were on, they would end up either in prison, they would end up out of the jurisdiction for their own safety, or they would end up dead. And we've seen three of those things happen, and, and that has to have an impact on, on, the, on, on the crime itself. Uh, Commissioner, speaking on the gang uh, crime, you mentioned uh, this, this past quarter saw the lowest uh, rate in 40 years. Um, are you willing then to say that in light of the continued convictions in court of, of gang members for guns, etc., are you willing to say that the worst of the gang uh, violence is past us now? I, I would be crazy to try and be clairvoyant um, and, and put my reputation, if not my job, online. I think, I think it is time for Bermuda to take some encouragement out of the results that are, that are being seen about a collective community effort. I, I said four years ago, and a few hundred times since then, that the answer to this was not handcuffs, that we would not arrest our way out of this, this problem. Um, obviously, enforcement has a key role to play, and enforcement has, has made a difference, clearly. Um, but it is all of the joined up connectivity of everything else that's taking place. Um, and all the people that are not involved in enforcement, but are involved in education and prevention programs, are involved in rehabilitation programs, are involved in helping people uh, get a different life other than gangs. So, it, it, you know, I'm not a social scientist, so I can't sit here and tell you what percentage of responsibility can be apportioned, but I think it's safe to say that Bermuda's collective efforts over the last several years are, are bearing fruit now. Uh, Commissioner, the seems to be a, what a, a perfect time or a coincidence uh, uh, the, the releasing of these statistics uh, showing crime uh, down. We had the public safety minister, Michael Dunkley, recently uh, comment on the omnibus, omnibus survey showing many residents feel safer. Yeah. And he, uh, he said the government's, his take on it was that government uh, has increased the funding to the police service. How much a role uh, has government played in, in helping you to do what you, what, what you have to do? Well, I don't represent the government. I'm not here to endorse them. But in terms of the funding? In terms of the funding, the funding that they've made available to us this year is to increase our strength from where we started about January 1st, about 428 or so. We've got funding to increase to 450. We have a recruit course of 15 recruits turning out next week, Thursday, um, and a batch lined up to be intake uh, for an intake in October. So between those two courses, they should bring us up to 450. Thank you. Yeah, one question. Um, we know, well, I know, that there are still members of both gangs from West and in the central areas who are tramping around with the guns, firearms on the procession. As you know, the individual that you uh, arrested in Somerset had a firearm on him. Yeah. How heavy is the police presence in these two areas? Um, the, the I, I think the police presence is, is, uh, is adequate throughout the, the whole island. Obviously, we can't be everywhere at the same time, and obviously we use our intelligence to decide where to put more or less police officers. Um, clearly, the incident a couple of weeks ago shows that uh, there are some uh, people that are willing to take the risk and, and carry a firearm with them. We still don't, still don't believe that, that there is a proliferation of firearms. We don't believe that. Um, Although there's lots of community gossip about you know all these guns and shipments of guns and all of these things, there's actually no evidence to support that. The evidence that keeps coming up, like like the two firearms we just seized, actually demonstrate the opposite. 
that the same weapons are being recycled over and over for multiple offenses. And the other thing is that the circle of influence, the people that can actually put their hands on a firearm, it's not that many people. Um, because forensically we are linking the same people to, to different crimes. So, so clearly it's, a, it, it, it's something to be aware of, clearly it's a risk, and our officers are, are briefed uh, according to that risk that, that there is a possibility they might run into someone with a firearm. We've seen that happen. Um, but the evidence is not suggesting that there's a proliferation. Uh, with the um, success, seemingly, in tackling the gang issue, is there a possibility we'll see an increased presence of road police, traffic police? Well, we do have an increase in, in terms of um, making the STEP program a, a, an organizational priority. Um, it's not just, you know, police officers that ride bikes that have a responsibility to, to enforce the, the rules of the road. Um, so all of the divisions, east, west, and central, have the equipment. They've got their laser gear so they can go out and report people for speeding. Um, and the STEP initiative is an organizational initiative. Um, and I don't have the numbers with me. We did release those through the Road Safety Council a few, a few weeks ago, and we see that there's been an uptick in, in reporting people. But once again, you, know, you, you, you can't solve the road problems just by booking everyone and sending them to court. There's a, a massive educational piece that needs to happen so that people change their, their, their mindset, and if you change your mindset, then your, your behavior will follow.